gonna do this clock today, okay? And we're gonna get that glass out. I'm nervous about doing this because last time I took it was a bigger clock, but the same style and everything else. I took the glass out and it nearly sliced down here. And since then I've been taking the clocks into the garden. I've done a few of them, but the main one before it, it nearly sliced through my hand because it had chipped. Um, I had a difficult time and uh, not very good with glass, to be honest. So, yeah, this is glass and don't want it slicing my hands off. I'm going to be very careful with it. If I feel uncomfortable with it, I shall put it in three carrier bags, tie it right up, put it in the garden and smash the damn thing with a hammer on the top here. Get rid of the glass and then I'll be good to go. But this is making me a bit nervy. All I've got is rubber gloves and I shall put them on if I need to, if I feel that I need to. So I've got to take my jewellery off. Right, so we've got to try and get the back open. I may need a knife. Let's try and get this label off first. We'll be texturing this up anyway, so this won't even notice. Okay, I've got a carrier bag to the side of me as a bin. I've got this little tub that I got my Christmas tree lights on that I can put all the innards in. Um, this should come off. It goes me nails. I'm going to lose all my nails now. Let me get um, a knife for that. Or this might do it. Try and get that under there. Ah, there we go. It's lifting, I think. Yes. This handle goes the other way as well. There we go, that's off. I've got some spare ones of these, but I'm not going to use them. That's what you turn them. Okay, and this one, that way. There, that one's out. The legs can come off. They've got little bolts, so I'll have to save them, find them little bolts after. Because I know these, and these got all the little washers. Let me put them up there so I know the little washers. This is done. There we go. Great. There's the inners. I'm going to keep that for another project. Still taking that. Right, so we need to take all this crap out um, this is actually bolted down so put all these bits in here I'm gonna go and break that glass well I might as well do it here actually but I've got to find the hammer remember if you're watching this and you're young please turn off because you're not old enough to watch this this is not made for kids this is for adult crafting, involves sharp objects and broken glass and things that are not suitable for children, okay? Right, let me go and get the hammer because it'll be so much easier. These are Morrison's ones. Put the clock in there. I'm gonna put it, I'm doing it so I can just take the clock out. Right, make sure this is not in, Anyway, <laughs> put your rubber gloves on. I still may have to go outside and do this. I usually do it outside. I'm putting these on so I don't get any glass in my hands. I think that's done it now. That sounds broke. Yep, that's it. Right, there. Right, so. Okay. 
me get that glass out. Just shake it till it all comes out and it will come out. But be very careful. Very, very careful. I'm not touching that glass at all. I'm a nightmare with glass. Okay. Right, there we go. There's a glass all out there. It would have helped if I'd hit it better. So you've got that glass in there, so I will put that into another bag. Give me a second. I'll sort that out now. So you make sure this is in no one's way at all. And don't dispose of it in your normal rubbish. It goes in with your glass. And let me get another bag out for that. Can't look the rubbish and dispose of it safely. Right, and then we can get back with our project. Right, let's have a look at this. Just making sure all that glass is out. Yep. Now, this can come off, but that's... I usually break these things off. These are on like a little clip bit. There we go. They just spring off. Don't know where the other one's gone. It's just jumped somewhere. Don't know where it's gone. I can't see it. Now I'll take that off. Where's that gone? All <laughs> loads and everything. Now I'm off a can a bit. No. That, take that out. But that's got a little screw bit in it. Oh, it's tight. I need these bills off. If I turn them, loosen that one. Yeah, it will turn the bells a bit and it loosens the uh, bits. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Come on. These are the important bits we need. Not so much, but I'll keep them bits anyway. If you're wondering what that is, it's a finger thing with crafting. But I use it to unscrew my nail polishes with. <laughs> I don't use it for crafting. Ah, oh, that's what I've got to undo, this one. Unless it's not very tight. No, I need a screwdriver now. And this is coming off now. Come on, get out. Come on. Right, that's that. I don't need this bit neither. I'm going to take that bit off. There we go. There we go. Right, it's just getting this piece off. I'm twisting the metal. I don't need this hammer. There we go. Done. <laughs> That's what you need to do, you see. Because when you open the back, there's no... Sometimes there's screws to undo this bit. Otherwise, you have to do all the... Take like that. Um, all the nuts and bolts and everything. These little tiny bolts can be unscrewed to get to these cogs. I've saved... I've already got a big big tub of these cogs um i may do that unscrew these little bolts take the cogs out you've got to be careful because this thing here here it springs all open um and it's metal but that now is basically rubbish see it's only like a card that's stuck on that front part um so we won't need that now we need to take all these bits off. I don't want to lose these little washers. 
because the last time I lost the washers and it was loose and then I had to go and buy some washers so don't lose the washers whatever you do right so now you've got all your bits and bobs and your outer shell look at the dust on that look let's give that a wipe right now and just wipe that dust off look at that look side as well and then leave them to dry make sure they're uh, dust free and that but they as i said they it's gonna be decorated okay so just make sure you wipe all around just go over those as well because these will be painted these bits um the legs are important the bell tops the handle this bit that holds bells up and the little legs these little bits obviously you don't need to um clean anything like the little washers and nuts and wrong that or the keys we won't be using the keys now unless i put one on the top so these are the most important bits you need and the little fittings and the bars for the bells where's the other one of those so yeah that's them done and then we're left with them little bits in there and uh, the back plate as well which you'll need as well I think that sticky stuff should come off it doesn't matter if it don't because as I said we will be doing some texture paste texture all over it oh it's an Ikea clock look it says it on the inside Okay, so even though it's a nuisance of getting the inners out of some of them, this one was the hardest I've done. Some of them, they just fall apart, to be honest with you. It's not so hard, but I don't like dealing with the glass fronts because they shatter so easy. Okay, so we've got that. We've got that bit. We just leave them to dry. Um, and then we can go on to step two of this project then so i'll stick everything in the little tub um those hang on because i can leave this tub open so they can dry out properly because i do not want to lose them so the more important things to leave out at the moment are these and that's where we'll start with it hi guys right we're going to do the clock so I've got all the bits here. Um, the most important bit is this, the clock shell, the clock base, back, rather, not base, back, and the two bells, um, the tops. And what we've got to do now is, um, oh, hang on, let me take my jewellery off. So you need some wire wool, right? I bought this, I actually bought two, thinking that it'd only be small, but it's large. So you'll need to get some of this out. Right, so a substantial amount of wire wool. Um, what you want to do, because you've got a shiny surface, is just go over and just scratch that surface a bit. Okay, because you need your medium, your um, paint or... Um, whatever you're going to put on top to actually stick down on it. So look, can you see? Hang on. See the difference? Already? So you just want to take off that shine, basically. Um, you can get wire wool that are scratch. It doesn't matter if you scratch, if you're using a textured paste on it. I will be, instead of gessoing it, 
and then using um, texture paste and stencils and that, I have got um, some Daily Arts Gesso paste in white. So I'm going to go over with that. So I'm just going to quickly go around these edges. I hate this stuff. Look at that. Look. And that's why I'm doing it on a piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> and chucking the bells everywhere. Right. So I'm just going to get this bit done. On this back plate here, you don't need to do the inside, and that's all right. That could stay on there, though. That can come off because it's loose. But if it was stuck down on there, it would have been all right just to leave there. So just go over this bit as well, because anything you're going to be painting, you just need it to grab on, you know. If your um, surface is too shiny, it's not going to do it. You can use um, the, I forget what it's called now. It's a sandpaper that you can wet down and it's um, a low grade. You can use that as well. But I've always um, used Wirewall and I've got enough here for a lifetime since I'm, I ordered two bundles of it. Now with this one, you just want to go around this rim part and make sure you're getting to that groove as well. Don't take that long. As I've said in the previous videos, I don't know exactly what I'm doing because I never have um never have an idea. I've got a sort of like I've done these clocks before, but I don't know how this is gonna turn out, you know, the whole project I mean. Because I just go in for it. I don't have any sort of ideas, I don't think about it, I just go for it. Um I prefer doing stuff that way. And if I make a mistake, then I just tidy it up. I just correct it. So you want to get into this bit here, which is harder, if you can, as much as possible. You're doing this so, so your medium on top grabs, because it'll take that glossiness off and it'll stop your medium falling off of the item. If you do, if you do it without, then you're gonna find that your texture paste or your paint, your gesso, or any of that stuff will just flake off after a while, if not immediately. So you need to rub it down. You just need that grub point. I'm just gonna this is where the top of the bells is gonna go. So I'm just going to rub that a little bit more. Don't worry about the inside so much. It's the outside you've got to concentrate on. Right, so I think that's, that's fine enough. There's a little bit here. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so that's, that's another part of it done so i've got this uh, mixed media this one here it's 100 mils just so paste white i should have enough to do this project i have been using this in so i need to bring some out i'll do a little at a time take that off on the paintbrush like that and then we can just go on Bring a bit out at a time. This is a nice 
consistency this one I've got the I don't know what it's called now it's right there I can't see it but it's the works um, white gesso but it's watery it's very watery this is beautiful and thick this one I just want to go in that lip didn't need to but I'm gonna go in that lip Now, I will be doing two coats of this because it will need two coats over. But it's all, it's drying as I'm doing it. Right, leave that there to dry. Right, I'll do the little bells. don't know, when I bought this, it had this piece of white paint on it already, so, but it doesn't matter. Don't need to rub that off completely because I'll be covering it over. So that's fine. Just make sure that if you've got holes in objects like this one, for instance, that you haven't got any big paint splodges in them holes. So, yeah, just make sure your holes are left open. Remember, you'll be painting on them again. So, like, I've got fingerprints in that. It doesn't matter, because I'll be painting around it again after. I will have to go in underneath as well on them. Yeah, I knew you was going to do that. Right. Just do whatever you can on the first coat. That's fine. I'm going to go on the inside as well. So this is the top part. So I'm going to go in that. We'll do the inside first. Make sure your holes. And check them after on the outside. Doing this quick. Right. And then just go from the front as well, all the way around. This stuff dries really fast. This is, um, this is very pasty, but very thick. It's really good stuff. Really good stuff. It, it lays on really well. Lovely and thick it is. It's like the thinner bar one. There we go. Make sure my holes are not all caked up with stuff. And then go around more all right okay oh, i think i just had enough of the paste out all right there we go it looks like nothing at the moment it looks terrible at the moment it needs another coat so i'm gonna allow this to dry all out and then we'll be back to coat it again. Right. Okay, so we've painted these now inside and out. Okay, back plate, kept that like that. Though, if you find any bits of paint, just pick them off over the holes. Especially where things are gonna go in See that one, but I mean it will push, push through with the um, when I put the things in. But yeah, I've I've repainted these over, so that's twice now they've been painted. Now what you can do is texture around with stencils around this part, okay, all the way around, and on that back plate, and on the bells if you want. Um, like a texture of a pattern what I'm going to do is I've got this stuff it's a Finnabar platinum crackle I love this stuff it looks like that 
but it crackles up like this on here. So I've got paint all over my nails now. See that? And it gives off a lovely crackle. And I thought what we'll do, and it's shimmery as well. What we'll do is we'll put some of this on. I'm hoping this is good because I've had this for a couple of years now. Sorry, I'm just shaking it. Don't even know if I can open it. Yeah, I can. Let's see. Yeah, it's fine, look. Right, so we're going to use some of that and allow it to dry naturally overnight. Because if you try and hurry up and try and dry crackle, it breaks and splits and, and just flakes off. So we're going to leave this on tonight and then we will come back to it. I want it thick, but I don't want it that thick, if you know what I mean. Plus, I need to find a pokey tool in a minute to get them holes back. Unless I've just found this. And that's got one of those on it. So, um, try and pick this up again. And just find that bit there. There we go. I'll just open that hole again. Right, so... I'll leave that up there. Get on painting the other one. In it really could have covered them up if you want. With paste, with paper. You can put paper on the back. A nice sheet of paper and cover that part over as well if you want. I'm just going to do this for now. Um, what I'm hoping to do is get this nice crackle. I'm building this up at the moment to a good uh, thing. I'm hoping to get a nice, really nice crackle on it. And I have used this before and it did give a lovely crackle. But I had to build it. And then I want to use those Tim Holtz sprays maybe. This will, this will come out lovely, um, shimmery. Well, it already is a shimmery colour, but I don't like anything too whitish. But um, it's not white, it's like an ecru colour. But yeah, what, what we'll do is we're going to build, build this crackle up. That's why I'm laying it on thick. And then colourise it. Mm -hmm. Shall I have the crackle inside or paint? Let's do the crackle inside as well. So that's built up. There we go. Just making sure. Right, let's lay that down and just go around that front. don't want it too much and what I used to do is um, take the glass out or keep the glass if you've got it whole you can there's some clocks you can get out without you know damaging the glass and then put the glass front back in but you need this uh, oh I haven't got it here it's a rim that goes in to hold the glass it's over there somewhere. I'm not going to touch it. I've got all this stuff on. Um, or you can use acetate. Clear acetate on the front as well. I've done that before. And I've done that on shadow boxes. Put acetate on the front. I'm building this up as I'm going along. Make that nice. Loads of this left on the brush, so this is going to dry overnight now. I'm going to go and wash all my tools, and um, yeah, we'll do some more tomorrow of that. I'll just leave that now. I don't know if I can pull this right down, or if you can see it. Um, there, you can see it better like that. And you see how much build up I've put on it. Put that there like that and then you can see 
may need a bit more on the bells but it should be fine because I put a, quite a bit on the bells but that's how much um, texture I've built up on it right hi guys right so I'm back let me move that speaker out the way a minute I'm back we've um, allowed this to dry overnight um, this has got a load of um, crack on it can you see the cracks of tiny tiny little cracks see the thicker you put this on and it dries naturally you get loads of cracks the problem is I should have made it thicker on the outside of this I could go over it again I haven't got time to wait another 14 hours or so for it to dry to be honest so we're just going to carry on it's thick at the front here it's thick just inside um some places are thicker than the others i've done the the bell bits as well and i've just painted the insides of them because we're going to paint this now we're going to put some paint on and uh what i thought i'd do because it's already got that texture and build up on there i'm going to use this new one i got recently it's the system free acrylic paint it's in the oxide of What's that? Chromin green. It's a really lovely, lovely, lovely green. I thought that would be nice for the outside. I want this um, to be done in traditional. I mean, I could have done it in silver and in blue, but I want this traditional red, green, that type of thing. And I thought, shall I do red? And I thought, well, no, because if I put sprays on it after... Um, I won't be able to see some of the colours. So I'm going with the green. Uh, plus it's more of a neutral colour than the red, you know. So we're going to just go over this. Now you've got to make sure the underneath crackle is completely dry before painting over. This may take two coats. I'm putting it on thin. Let's put it on a bit thicker. Let's do the bells. So I'll do the inside of the bells. Because they're going to need a couple of coats. That's for sure. I'll fluff around the edges. And then we can do the tops. Yeah, they will need a couple of coats over. But that crackle should come through if it's not too thick. doesn't matter because it's just texture if the crackle doesn't appear we've still got a texture on them you know I can see the crackle on that right I think I may do the inside a different colour so I'm going to have a look at this first and do the outside and then this bit here I may even do this in a gold actually thinking about it always do that after lay down some paint this will need two coats definitely because as I said before nothing's planned so you just you just go with the flow until you really like it you know so I'll wait till this dries repaint this and um, then we'll see what paper we want put on it I know I'm holding it very awkward at the moment because I'm trying not to touch it right, that will need two coats so there we go inside I will do a different colour I think I don't know what colour, but uh, just to break it up so it looks more like a tunnel, if you know what I mean. Um, just uh, go over this bit a bit. So, give that a, I'll give that an hour or so. I mean, I can use my heat tool on it, but 
I'll give it a little while to dry. Go and wash my brushes up and then I'll be back to do that. Repaint um, the second time and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay guys, I'm back. It's snowing outside. And I've just repainted all this. And it's come up nice. But we need to do this inside now. As you can see. It really does. Now, I was I wanted it a darker colour, but the problem with that is, I don't know, it needs to be light inside, really. So I've got this, um, let me see if this is the right sort of colour I want. Yeah, I don't want to do it white, but I've got this ivory. It's the uh, Stamperia one. So I'm going to do um, a little bit of that on the inside. I mean, I could have done it in like a silver colour, really, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go in here. doesn't matter if it comes out on on the outside bit here, because I'm going to go over that after. As I said, this project, I'm just basically doing this project as I go along. I'm going to need some paint out, so I'm going to put a little bit of paint on there. Now I did have some micro fairy lights somewhere but do you see if I can find them? Nope. Because the idea was is to put some of them in the background um, and it can be done and you can put them through because I've got the holes there I could put the lead through you know I could feed them through it would have looked lovely. Um, may go and look for some I know I've got several packets of them around here somewhere in a box. But it's keep getting boxes and tops out, you know, to look for things. And they're never in the same place as you think you've put them. So let's just get a bit more paint. The ivory's looking nice in there, actually. I didn't want just plain white in there. Right, so that bit's done now. 